This is my Google Pixel 4a phone. I've had it for probably about 25 months now, and about 18 months in, the battery life started being noticeably low, and it's gone down pretty quick after that. It'll last for maybe an hour of usage now. Um, if you look carefully across the back, you can barely see there's just a slight bulge there as the battery starts to bulge out. So the options are either buy a new phone, the Google 6A, you can get for discount for about 260 bucks, or replace the battery. Unfortunately, in this particular phone, the battery is glued in and the screen is glued in on top of it. So to replace the battery, we have to unglue the screen, flip the whole back cover off, and then pull the battery out and swap it in. And overall, it's like, you know, 25 steps and it's, you know, medium difficulty level. Um, so I do really wish they just had screws. You unscrew screws, you pull the battery out, put a new one in, put the screws back on. That'd be really nice, but unfortunately, that's not what we're doing. So I went and paid the big bucks for the official iFixit kit, the full kit with all the tools, um, because it has a genuine OEM battery and it's supposed to have all of the little bits and bobs you'll need. So the adhesive to glue the screen back on and any stuff you might have as um, consumable. So let's open up this kit and see what comes with it. So inside the kit are several boxes that are individually packed boxes. It has the eye opener, which is the heat system. It has repair part and it has repair tools. Plus you get some stickers. So I fixed it. Well, hopefully. If I don't break the screen, we'll put one of those stickers on maybe. Um, so that's what's in the box. So the iFixit heater or eye opener is basically a liquid filled pouch. You heat it up in the microwave and it heats up the adhesive and in such a way that you don't get it too hot, but you can pull the adhesive off. Um, this came with, it looks like, a pair of tweezers, which are actually quite large for working on phones. I might get my own tiny tweezers in addition to that, but these are ESD shit safe, so electrostatic discharge safe, so there's something to be said for that. And it has a set of five or six of these little guitar pick opening picks, which are going to be necessary to go around the screen. Um, I would have kind of expected that to be in the tool packet, but let's see what's in the tool packet now. Okay, so the tool packet has some more things. A couple of these bits have moved around in shipping, but they're all here. So we have three bits. We have a sponger tool. We have, it looks like another, ah, here's the tiny tweezers. So these tweezers are super tiny. That's, that's what you need there. Um, not like the tweezers that came with the eye opener. They're a little bit big and chunky. Um, so you got the super tiny tweezers with this nice little thing to hold them shut so you can poke yourself. And you have the screwdriver top along with a couple of bits. We have a Torx T3, Torx T5, and a Phillips, a tiny, tiny Phillips it looks like. Let's see, Phillips had zero, zero. So these all go in there. And you have this little suction cup, which you can stick to the screen of your device and kind of pull on to help lifting it up. So that's all we get tool-wise. I don't know if all of that was worth the 60 bucks. This guy here, the um, eye opener, the um, heat thing, that's something I don't have. I could see using that. It seems a little safer than a heat gun. So let's take a look at the actual parts. This is what I need, definitely. Now, I could probably buy these from an eBay seller. But here I'm getting an actual genuine part. So we got the actual battery. Looks like a battery. Um, we have an alcohol prep pad and a couple of things of adhesive um, that are precisely cut pieces of adhesive. It looks like there's a tiny little screen in here. This might be the earphone screen. So that's definitely something that I would like to have on hand just in case I break it. Um, and then they have two other pieces of adhesive, which I think are the battery tape. I think these are the pull apart adhesive that pull that hold the battery in. And that looks like adhesive for all the way around the screen, um, or at least three quarters of the way around the screen. We have four corners, and we have a long thing here and two of these guys. So I will have to take a look and see where all of this stuff fits.
looks like the black stuff is the adhesive and that one of them got stuck to another one. And that has this little tool here, which I'm assuming is some type of a, uh, like an alcohol squirter or something like that. Use this alcohol dropper to apply 90% isopropyl alcohol to soften tough adhesive holding down screens and batteries. IPA is not included. Luckily I have some. All right, so I'm not certain I have enough stuff to put the screen back on. I have one side here and four corners. Maybe that's all I need. But the battery's the key thing. I knew I didn't have enough tape for the screen, so stuck inside the roof of the box here are the long side and two more pieces of tape. So I'm going to see if I can get those out of the box with the tweezers without having them rip up the cardboard of the box. Okay, I got most of them out of the box, but one little piece of adhesive was stuck to the box and the plastic came off and left the adhesive on the box. So when examining the battery foil packet here, I found another piece of adhesive that was stuck to it. So I'm down two little pieces of adhesive on this repair already, which is kind of annoying. So if you want to watch two hours of me taking the phone apart, putting it back together again, I have two unlisted videos that are uncut, just me doing that. Um, I will put the links in the descriptions and you can watch that or not as you choose. I just got done opening up my Pixel 4a. Uh, you have to crack the whole screen open, take some screws out, then you can take the back cover off, then you can replace the battery. The whole procedure took me about two hours. Um, I'm using the iFixit kit and the battery fit perfectly. The glue adhesive custom cut around the outside um, mostly worked right but it didn't feel like it was specifically for my phone. I mean, the corner radiuses were correct, but there were, you know, sections um, where they're like, hey, here's, take this corner radius, put four of those in the box, take two lengths of the same right size, put those in the box. My lengths were kind of different. One had white tape on it, and one had um, clear plastic plus a, a red and blue thing at the same time. Um, and none of these circles in the things really lined up to alignment holes or screws or anything, so I'm not sure what those circles are for. Um, it worked, it fit okay, um, and I also had the annoyance that one of the pieces of tape got stuck on the inside of my box here, so one of them was I just didn't have, but that's okay. They gave me this little mesh piece that's kind of your earphone mesh piece, um, and the piece of tape that was cut sized specifically for that. Mine stayed stuck to my screen, so I just didn't take it off, and so it was okay that I was missing one piece of tape that got stuck to the box because I chose not to install this mesh piece because I already had mine on it. Um, I only broke one cable inside, which was for the fingerprint sensor, so it didn't go perfectly. Uh, luckily for me, I don't use the fingerprint sensor anyway, so it, it, it won't hurt. Um, but if I did use the fingerprint sensor all the time, that would piss me off a lot. Um, so, all in all, for 60 bucks, I was able to do the repair. I have a new battery in there. According to iFixit, it's OEM quality, so I suspect um, I'll have another two years of use after this phone. I'm pretty annoyed at Google Pixel for having the phone so difficult just to swap the battery out. Um, I'm also a little annoyed that the battery only lasted really 18 to 20 months. I mean, I'm at 25 months now, but I really wasn't getting usable battery usage out of it for the last six months. Um, so, you know, the iFixit kit was 50 bucks plus 10 bucks shipping, so 60 bucks. Um, I got some neat, kind of neat tools. You know, this iFixit eye opener heat thing is pretty cool. Um, and, you know, they have a, a little bit nicer suction cup than you get with the Chinese kits. And they gave me electric static discharge safe tweezers and, you know, some Torx screwdrivers and stuff. So everything you need. Um, I could have done it cheaper by buying parts off of eBay, but going with iFixit, I figured the battery is most likely going to be a quality battery. Um, and if you're going to put in two hours of effort to move this thing in and out, I never 
want to open this phone again. So, you know, if this battery starts to go, I think at that point the phone gets retired um, and I just buy a new phone. So all in all, the iFixit kit with the repair parts were pretty good. Um, I think the main complaint I have is just that it shouldn't need to be this difficult to replace a battery. Um, this is not a repair I would recommend for most people. Um, this is the type of thing where you, maybe you buy the iFixit kit and you take it to the local repair shop where the guy does this every day all the time um, and so they have the confidence and the skills to do it really well and not break that cable inside. Um, I'm pretty technically competent and it was not super challenging, but it was definitely one of these things where I'm like, boy, I wish I didn't have to do this. Um, so all in all, I, I generally, you know, the, the directions on the iFixit website were pretty good. There's a little bit of annoyance in that, like, for the, you know, the directions for disassembling the phone are separate from the directions for using the little adhesive things, and, you know, they don't have a specific direction for the battery. It's just like, here's how you take out the battery, and obviously to put a new battery in, you put it in. Um, but you have to kind of read two or three different places to see, like, you know, oh, you have to learn how to use this guy, go over there. Um, you know, so there's a couple of different links you have to follow and do all the research. It's not just one thing for how to do this particular procedure, um, which I understand why they do that, but, you know, that's, it could be improved. All right, so that was my experience. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.